Today's story is one that you'll be familiar with from John 6, verses 1 to 21. Jesus feeds the 5,000. Jesus had finished teaching and everyone was hungry. Send them away to buy food, his disciples said. But Jesus wanted to show the people that they could trust God. Let's hear the story. Today's story is from the book of John, chapter 6. The disciples had just returned from going around the villages, preaching and healing the sick. They'd also heard the news that John the Baptist had been executed by Herod Antipas. Jesus and his disciples got in a boat and sailed to a remote place. A large crowd, many of them pilgrims on their way to the Passover feast in Jerusalem, watched the boat and followed it around the coast on foot to meet Jesus. Jesus went into the hills and taught them. He spent time healing the sick. There were around 5,000 men in the crowd, and women, and children. Late in the afternoon, the disciples urged Jesus to send the crowd away to nearby farms and villages to find food and lodgings for the night. There's nothing to eat here, in this deserted spot, they said. Jesus replied, you feed them. Turning to Philip, he asked, Philip, where can we buy bread to feed all these people? Philip replied, it would take a fortune to feed this many. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here in the crowd with five barley loaves and a couple of fish. But what good is that with all these mouths to feed? Jesus said, tell everyone to sit down in groups of around 50. Jesus took the five loaves and the two fish. He looked up to the sky and gave thanks. Then he broke off pieces for his disciples to set before the crowd. The disciples gave out the bread and the fish and everyone ate until they were no longer hungry. The disciples picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. Immediately, Jesus told the disciples to get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After Jesus had sent the crowds away, he went up on a hillside by himself to pray. Small becomes big and little becomes much when it's placed in the hands of God. The story of stretching the loaves and the fishes has always inspired me. How is it possible that such a small amount of food managed to take care of so many people? This story reminds us of how God takes care of all our needs and can do anything, even the seemingly impossible. God can do fantastic and miraculous things in our lives if we trust him and let him do his will. Heavenly Father, we thank you for food, friends and family, especially those whom we've missed during the pandemic. Give us joy in our meeting again and teach us all to share what we have with others. Amen. Our wee song for the day is sung to the tune of Lord of the Dance. You give us daily bread to eat, Jesus, the bread of life we need. We thank you, Lord, for the bread you give today. Give us this bread always, we pray. You give us daily bread to eat, Jesus, the bread of life we need. We thank you, Lord, for the bread you give today. Give us this bread always, 
sleep great.